everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make a super cute wooden tray. I was inspired by Michael's. Let's see if I can do it. So this is the tray. Super pretty, right? But look, it's 25 bucks. What? No, I don't think so. It's cute though, right? All right, so let's see if we can do it. So I started by getting four of these knobs from Home Depot. And I got this little plaque at Dollar Tree. So... So far, we're not doing too bad price-wise. Um, I am just getting the tag off, so I just heat it up with my heat gun, and it just peels right off. Easy peasy. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. Okay, and then I put a little wood glue on each of the little knobs and then some hot glue, and then I glue it. Now, I know it seems really weird, counterintuitive, to do it on the beveled part. Beveled? I don't know. I'm putting it on the part that would be the top, usually, but... I thought it looked better to have the top flat, so we're doing it this way. You do it the way you think, though, if it looks better to you the other way. But there it is. That's Now, listen, that's like it. This is the base. Super cool, right? And then you can embellish it as you like. I'm going to use some of this brown wax, and so I put some on, and then I use my cloth, and I wipe it off just to give it a nice, you know, stained kind of look. Um, believe it or not, friends, I, I don't, I, I, maybe you want to put this on the calendar. Um, I don't, I want you to be sitting down when I tell you I did not distress this. <laughs> there was no distressing involved. I know it's crazy, but sometimes I doubt. This one is for my daughter again, because it's her birthday week. So I wanted to do something that was special for her. So we're doing this. And I am putting that wax all over, you know, I get my brush in and make sure I get all around those knobs. And then I wipe it off just because, again, we want it to be stained um, and we don't want it to be super dark. But if you wanted to, you could paint it with acrylic paint or chalk paint and you could have that real, you know, vibrant color. Um, I didn't want that, though. Like I said, I was trying to get it as close to the Michaels one as possible. And I know it does not look structurally like that one, but I'm not mad. I think this looks so cute. I'm so happy. I was tempted to distress it, but I didn't. The only thing I did do was I sanded because see how he has like it's a real piece of rough wood and I didn't want all of those little pieces hanging off. So I sanded it a little bit just to take those off and to give it a little bit of more of a finished look to it. Um, I also wanted to get in the nooks and crannies. So I switched from a sanding block to a piece of sanding paper. Um, but you don't even have to do this part if you're wood block. Okay. To be clear, <laughs> This should have been done before I did any of this, um, of any of the waxing or painting. <laughs> but again, in my defense, I get super excited and I can't help myself. And then I don't think about things all the way through. Love me through it. Right. <laughs> but anyways, look at how cool does it look when you sand it? Oh, so pretty. But anyways, look, this is it. I mean, listen, I spent less than five bucks. I'm not mad. Anyways, friends, thanks so much for watching. I hope this inspires you.